Hi everyone, this is Ms. Ramirez and I teach Spanish at Vista del Lago. One of the things that I love most about my Filipino culture is making lumpia, or that delicious fried spring roll that's always the first thing to go at a party. It can be a pretty long process, separating the wrappers, adding the fillings, and uh, making sure they roll up just right so that they don't break apart while frying. But this long process gives us a chance to catch up with our family and friends, have some good conversation, and share in some laughter. And it's one of the things that um, I appreciate most from my childhood. I'm Ophelia and something I really like about my culture is trying and eating new traditional foods and making them with my parents. Um, for example, zong, which is um, has ingredients such as sticky rice, vegetables and meat and we usually wrap them up with leaves or just having dim sum with my family and friends. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 한서진이고 저는 미국에 사는 교포입니다. Hi everyone, my name is Leah Han and I am a Korean American. Um, here are some fun facts about Korea and uh, Korean culture. So Korea is the world's most homogeneous country and Korea, Korean is uh, the world's most spoken language isolate. Um, the Korean uh, alphabet Hangul was created in the 15th century and um, Koreans are technically one year older than everyone else because we consider babies to already be one years old when they're born since they spent close to a year in the womb. Hi, I'm Pooja and one thing I love about my culture is celebrating Diwali with my family and friends and it's known as the Festival of Lights and we usually just celebrate with fireworks and dress up in these elaborate pieces of clothing like me and my friends. We dress up in lehengas um, and we just just basically just have fun, dance, eat, talk, and just like eat like all the foods that I usually look forward to around that time, such as samosas or gulab jamun, which is just honestly great. And yeah. 大家好, I'm Angie. So today I'm going to shed some light on the beauty of Chinese culture um, because I think during these times it has been quite neglected and quite misunderstood. So one of our favorite traditions is Chinese New Year and it is the start of the Lunar New Year where we get together with our family and friends to celebrate and honor our ancestors and loved ones. And it's a great time for us to wear our qi pao's or traditional Chinese clothing and we just have a great time and have some great food. So I can speak for a lot of my peers that growing up we've been embarrassed or even ashamed to be Asian because we've been made fun for or mocked for it for at least once in our lives. Um, but I just hope that during AAPI month and just in general that we can embrace our culture and be proud of it because it is just as beautiful and just as significant as anyone else's. Zaijian! Hi everybody, my name is Missa Valencia and I am one of the chemistry teachers here at Vista. As a Filipino American, one of my favorite memories of sharing my culture with others comes from my wedding day. For our father-daughter dance, my dad and I performed a traditional Filipino dance called the Tini Kling, which involves jumping and dancing around a couple large bamboo poles that are being whacked together at about ankle height. It was really fun to share that piece of our heritage with my husband's family and all of our friends, and it's something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Happy Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month! Namaskaram na Peru Avni, which basically means hello, my name is Avni, and my native language Telugu, which is a language most predominantly spoken in the southern states of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Something that I think a lot of people get wrong about India and actually South Asia in general is that it's this kind of homogenous state where everyone speaks Hindi and practices Hinduism, when in reality India is so ethnically and culturally diverse. India is comprised of 29 states, each with their own cultures, histories, and traditions, and more than thousands of languages are spoken there. Hi, I'm Chloe, and my family celebrates Chinese New Year, and during Chinese New Year, um, we get to eat amazing food, and something that I really like doing um, is making dumplings in my household, and so that's like a family tradition kind of thing, and we'll do it with our sisters, and we'll get all the stuff at um, an Asian supermarket. Um, and another thing that I really like is going to an Asian uh, Chinese restaurant um, every weekend or before COVID. And that was just super fun to be able to eat some good dim sum and stuff like that. So yeah. Hello, my name is Adin Rahman and I am Bangladeshi, meaning my parents are from Bangladesh. And fun fact is that the idea to celebrate International Mother Language Day was the initiative of Bangladesh. And International Mother Language Day is a worldwide 
annual observance held on the 21st of February to promote awareness of linguistic and cultural diversity and to promote multilingualism. And in Bangladesh, the 21st of February is the anniversary of the day when the people of Bangladesh fought for recognition of the Bangla language. And though I've never celebrated this day in Bangladesh, here everyone dresses up in traditional cultural clothing, mainly in red, green, or gold, and we eat cultural dishes while listening to songs and remembering our history. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 정민주이고 현재 미국에 살고 있는 한국인입니다. Hi, I'm Michelle or 정민주 and I am Korean American. Um, some fun facts about Korea. Um, 60% of Korea is covered in forest and Korea has over 3,000 islands. And it has Lotte Tower, which is um, the world's fifth tallest tower. And it is located in um, Korea's capital, which is Seoul.